Nah. You don't get a pay rise. What? That's five stars. That's five stars. Morning. Hello. Hello. How Come on. You alright? Yeah, then you're right. Not too bad. And they've already gone into changing rooms, don't they? We're in there. Ted, yes, if you used to have one superpower, what would it be and why? Teleport. Teleport, yeah, why? Because if I want to go on holiday, I can clip my fingers <laughs> <laughs> and I will be long gone. Yeah? If you used to have any superpower, what would it be and why? Just, uh, what's that? Teleport anywhere in the world. Yeah, same yeah. as Ted then. Yeah. I'll jump on some serious steroids. <laughs> Yeah, no, you have to. You've got to wear fake, fake cream. Fake yeah. Is there a pull that's made that pop with it? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Adam. Yeah. If you just have one superpower, what would it be and why? Uh. Probably the strongest one is telekinesis or teleportation, isn't it? Well, you know, everyone I've asked has said teleport as well. It's teleport because it's the most easiest thing, like, hypothetically, I'm not good at that. Yeah, a lot of people are just saying um, you can teleport anywhere, so teleportation holiday or whatever. Teleportation is like, easiest way to get money. Yeah? I mean, I, <laughs> you, I guess that is a way. You teleport inside the bank, alarm goes off to teleport out. Who's going to Sorted, know? yeah, to be fair. <laughs> Raise a good point. <laughs> Who's going to know? Literally, you get like, what? Whatever the bank consists of, like, what? 10 million, 20 million, whatever it has. And then you just, like, teleport to another country, live there. Who's going to know? Yeah, no one's going to know. Or... Uh, telekinesis literally just like move any objects, isn't it? Fair enough. Kai, if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be and why? Super strength, but Super. I've already got it. Uh, what, what speed? What flight? Because then you yeah. can just go like a beep if you want. A lot of people said teleport today, for the same reasons. No, but I don't feel like that's going to help you. Well, like if you no, nah, teleport because then you ain't got to fly all the way to my beat. I'll take you like two hours. Well, I said, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally, everyone should just, teleport. My only thing is just free holiday. Can so. you teleport with your suitcase, sir? Go on, wave. Pop in. Well one, Josh. Left or right? Uh, go left. I mean, it went left, just not on target at all. If you boys had any um, superpower in the world, what would it be and why? <laughs> superpower. The, the ability to make any of my wishes come true. Yeah? That's good. That's different one. We've had a lot of uh, teleporting today. Teleporting? Yeah, that's, that's what a lot of people have said. But that's a different one. No, I had that one today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one? Ooh. A lot of options, aren't there? Yeah, there is, you know, and I can't even think of any. <laughs> ah. Anything, just pick anything. Yeah, exactly. Think, you know, what I want to happen. What I want to happen. <laughs> I can't lie, your one sounds good, you know, but I don't want to copy you. A lot of people said teleporting today as well, so that, that's that been quite a popular one. I don't want to teleport. What do I want? Time travel. 
Yeah? We can do time for you. Go back to the past and see what happened, innit? Boys, listen up. Starting team, Ozzy, you can go. Michael, right back. Toes in, and we are two centre halves. Marcus, left back for me. Two holding midfielders, Gems and Zach, in the 10 Grizz. Toby, you're on the right. Adam on the left, and then Kai's up top, boys, yeah? Last pre season game. Let's get build a bit of confidence for next week. Let's just try and keep the ball, yeah? I know I say I want you to go down the channels, but I don't want it every single time. Let's come feet, let's be confident. And yeah, let's go, go out there. Go in and Zach. Go out there, go and enjoy yourself. Just keep holding this ball. Let's let them do the doggies. Let's make them, let's make them work. Yeah? Well, I know it's difficult where we've got different players every single week, but there's going to be games during the season when this person ain't, ain't available, that person ain't available. We've just got to deal with what we've got here. We've got a good enough team to go out and beat them. So let's not sit there and go, oh, this person's missing. Let's use what we've got now and go out and get another win, boys. All positions are up for grabs next week as well for the boys who are signing. Don't know who's don't know who's going to be playing yet. I need to see player wise as well. But every position's up for grabs. So go out there and show me that you want to start next week. So what's your name and what are you here for today? My name's Zach. Um, I'm here because I'm going to sign for Peoples. Come here about two and a half years ago. Um, Kyle's been to come down. I was playing on a Saturday with him, and um, I've been on and off here for ages. Uh, but this season I'm going to come down here because they're a good bunch of boys. Um, just wanted to get on the camera today because I'm taking part in 30k run in September to raise money for a team called Sands, or a charity called Sands. We do amazing work for with families that um, have unfortunately lost babies, stillborn, stillbirths, um, and I want to raise as much money as I can for Sands. Um, I'm doing it with some of my family, um, and I'm hoping to get as much money as I can. My target's a thousand pound, but hopefully if I come on here on this platform, um, I'm sure Kai put my just giving page into into the description or whatever, and we'll go from there. But I just want to say, if you could dig deep, that'd be absolutely yeah. amazing. Lovely work, mate. Honestly, no worries. Amazing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another episode of the Peoples FC. Today, Caesar's is playing our final pre-season game against Advent Mighty Royals, also known as AMR FC. Hopefully, we can end the pre-season with a good win. Without further ado, let's get into it. So number 69, the right back for AMR. It's going to go all the way back to the keeper. Keeper's going to assess his options. Set the backs, ask them to go wide, and he's going to oblige. It's going to go all the way across now to the left back. The left back's going to go inside to Ken, number four. Ken's going to feed the ball inside now to this player here. It's going to run, it's going to run through now. Good run, no pressure. It's going to feed the ball through. That's a great ball to number 21, and that's 1-0. He's actually going to catch Ozzy, and Ozzy is now going to come off injured. That's a really, really poor start for the injury and also for the scoreline. Hopefully Ozzy's injury isn't too bad, but Ozzy's going to be coming off and Gavin is going to be coming on in place of him going in between the sticks. So Marcus on the ball. Marcus is one of our new players. I think you would have seen him in the Brenda Cabino episode. He's going to feed the ball down line to Adam. Adam's going to try and get past the player. And that's a go-go gadget challenge. Good challenge there. Ball's gone to Ola, number 21. He's going to feed the ball. And that's a great interception there, Von Gebel. The ball's gone straight back to AMR now. Into this player. It's getting a little bit scrappy. Gem's come out on top. He's going to feed the ball to Grizz. They're asking for offside. And that's definitely not offside. The ball's gone all the way to the keeper. And here, there's going to be an injury yet again. This time to Marcus. Marcus will be coming off. The luck is just getting even worse today. And this is definitely not what we wanted with the injury list just building and building and building. But Marcus has been the latest player to come off with an injury. And Brandon, number 16, who you can see here, is going to be the one coming on. That's a massive ping all the way over the top now to Kai. Good touch there by Kai. And Adam's on the overlap. The ball's going to get fed into Adam. Number 69 is going to press him. First time ball all the way over the top. The ball's gone up. Overhead kick by Grizz. And that's wide of the post. So number 69 on the ball. It's going to assess it. And it's going to go all the way back now to the centre back. The centre back's going to look, let the ball roll to the keeper. Keeper's going to switch the ball across now to the left back. 
And the left back's going to look for an option. Kemp making room in the middle now for space. It's going to feed the ball into the striker. And the ball's going to be a little bit of a loose pass. Ball's gone to Zach. Zach's going to travel with the ball. And he's going to cut back now. It's going to feed the ball into Gems. Outside the boot all the way over the top now to Adam. Adam versus number 69. Nudging the back. It is soft, but that is a foul. So last time we saw Gems, we saw an absolute dismantling against Avery Hill. Let's see if he can whip it in. He's going to whip the ball in, but that's only side net in. So left mid on the ball for AMR. He's going to feed the ball inside now to this player here. Cuts to the shot number and he's going to switch the ball into number 18, I think that was. Number 8 is going to give it into number 69. Number 69 is going to assess his options. Good held up by Adam and he's going to give it back to number 18. That is an absolute hospital ball. That should be a foul. Referee's not giving it. Kai's going to run through on goal now. He's going to switch the ball across to Toby. Toby has to shoot first time. He takes a touch. Don't know why he's done that. Runs out for a goal kick. So I've the ball for AMR. It's getting pressed by Jamie. And that's going to be a massive L1 triangle all the way over the top now to the left mid. Left mid's going to make his way towards the box now. It's getting held up by Gems. And that's a great challenge there by Gems. Ball's gone to this player. It's going to have a shot. But that's over. So Brandon now with the throw. It's going to throw the ball down line to Kai. Kai versus number 69. It's going to look for... He's got Adam for an option. It's not going to use him. And it's going to spin number 69. Good spin. Here, you can see Kai's hamstring go. And yet, you guessed right. That is another injury. Three injuries in the space of 30 minutes. So our league is due to start next week, and at the moment we've just lost three key players in the People's FC side. Marcus, Ozzy, our number one keeper, and now Kai, our key striker this season. It's just not looking good at the moment. But number 11 is going to feed the ball in into number 18. It's going to feed the ball into number 15. Number 15 is going to travel on the ball. It's in too much space. It's going to have a shot. Over. Number 15 on the ball. Number 15 is going to use number 9 on the overlap. Number 9 is going to try and get the ball at his feet. But the ball's going to go all the way back to the boys now. I think that's Toby. It is. Number 18 is going to have a shot. It's only gone as far as Tosin, our new player. Tosin's going to give it inside to Michael. Michael's going to assess his options and he's going to give it to Brandon. Brandon's going to foul the player. That's lazy defending. Free kick now for AMR. So I don't watch rugby, but I think this is what they would call a try. Well, like every other clip I mentioned about number 69. But once again, 69 is on the ball and he's going to feed the ball into number 9. Number 9 is getting pressed now by Adam. He's going to whip the ball in first time into this player here. He's going to sort his feet. He's going to foul Tosin. Referee's not giving that as a foul. I don't know how. He's going to sort his feet and he's going to tap the ball into an open net. Eventually, the referee is going to disallow the goal for a foul. He had to give that. Do let me know in the comments below, have AMR been done bad there, or did the referee rightly disallow that goal? For me, that is a stonewall foul, but do let me know in the comments below. Shortly, the referee is going to blow for half-time. Big, big second half is needed. Hopefully, we can get a win in that final pre-season game. Each week, you do see one of the opposition players trying to rip our player shirts off. Don't be like them. Buy our merch. Support the boys. Reach us on any of our social media accounts to get some of our merch. Please support for the people. Boys, when we get in, there's one voice and that's me and Ted. That's so serious. Yeah, it don't matter. Just be quiet. <laughs> Come on in. Really ain't good enough out there, lads. We're better than this. There's no talking, no communication. Yeah, defense is one, defenders are dropping back, getting scared. And the, the right back, left back are stepping up. What, what, what are we doing? trying to pull off for the ball, bro. Yeah, but no, you need to tell the left and right back you're dropping back. Because they're going like this, they're going like this, and you're dropping in, and you're keeping them on side. Yeah, of course they're going to be hiding us, because we're dropping for the ball. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, no, as soon as they, the ball's up here, and you're back here. Yeah, because we're an option. Can I say something quickly? No, I'm on about that. I'm on about when we've got the ball. I'm on about defending-wise. When they've got the ball here, no, no you're back here, and the right back and left back are up here. There's not one bit of pressure on the ball. There's no pressure. Yeah. We need to be prepared for the long ball. Yeah. If there's no pressure. There is not one bit of pressure got time on the ball. Answer, I get what you're saying, but you, you, to to tell, you need to tell your right back and left back, that's what I'm saying, yeah. that you're dropping, because they're, they're going up, yeah, they're stepping. Yeah, it's the midfield, it's every, the yeah. whole team. Everybody's two set, the two CDMs bars will be playing centre-half. They're picking up the in the middle and they're doing whatever they want with the ball. Literally, boys, want, listen, please. They can go short, they can go long. There's not one bit of press. Every time we've pressed the ball, they've made a mistake in their own half and we're not doing it. Everyone's looking around, sulking because we're going down. Get on with it, we're full grown men. Also, oh, it's embarrassing, boys. Seriously, it's embarrassing. Also, boys, why, why, when the ball comes in the midfield, yeah, we all, every single one of you, are running up. You're going for the long ball. Sometimes, drop in and collect it. You don't always need to run away from the players. Right, Eric, you're going to go CDM for me. Tobes, you're going to come off. Wait, all I've got to say is this is a 10 performance. You're going on the right for me. 
Well, imagine if we was actually playing well, we'd be falling up. We're playing we we'll still win the game. I don't get it. You want to go on the wing or in the tent? Uh, tent. You go wing then, yeah? Sorted. Boys, pick your so second half underway. As you as you heard at half time, the only change to be made aware of is Toby's now come off and Eric has now come on in place of him. We haven't seen Eric in a couple of episodes. Eric has been away for work, but hopefully now he is going to be back. But Michael's got the ball. He's going to give the ball to Chris to his right hand side. Chris is going to give it back into Michael, and the ball's gone. The ball's going to get whipped in now. It's going to get chested by the centre back. Centre back's going to try to clear his lines. It's only gone as far as Eric. Eric's going to switch the ball across now. It's only gone as far as. Grizz, Grizz is going to give the ball across now to Brandon. Brandon's going to flip the ball across now. It's gone to Zach. He's going to have a shot. It's well blocked away. It's gone to Jamie. Jamie is onside. Number 45 is going to get pressed now. And he's going to knock the ball out. And it's somehow going to go out for a goal kick. So the keeper have a goal kick. It looks like it's going to boot it short long. But it's not. It's going to go short instead. It's going to give the ball inside to Ade. Ade's going to play the ball down line to number 45. Number 45 is going to get back into Ade. It's going to get caught by Jamie. Free kick for AMR. So a free kick for AMR, but a good opportunity for them to get the ball upfield. Massive boot now for the keeper, and a header now from Weaver. I don't think I've ever seen Weaver mess a header, Mr. Reliable. But the ball's going to get flicked on now by the boys into Adam. Adam's going to feed the ball into Gems. Gems is going to skip past the boys. He's going to have a shot. Good finish. 1-1. One, one. Great equaliser. That's, that's a great finish and maybe the boys did need a hair dry treatment from Brad and Ted at half time for the boys to actually pull their fingers out because what a poor first half but what a great start to the second half but Grizz is on the ball he's going to keep the ball out from going out he's going to give the ball into Eric Eric back into Grizz Grizz is going to give it into uh, Gems he's going to run to Zach he's going to have a shot but that's wide so the keeper now have a goal kick. Like I said earlier on, is he going to go short? Yes, he will. This time he's, he's going to go short into Ade. And he's going to assess his options. And he's going to go back home now to the keeper. Keeper's got number 22 for an option. He's going to go back to Ade. And he's got number 45 for an option. He's going to switch it across, all the way across now to the right back. Right back, a bit of a heavy touch. He's going to try and find a pass. But it's gone straight back to Brandon. Brandon's going to pick out a pass into Zach. Zach's going to flick it onto Adam. And it's going to get caught. Free kick in a dangerous position. So again, stand over the free kick. Let's hope it'll be better than that one from earlier. It's going to whip it in, and that's 2-1. Great finish. So it's currently a party on AMR lane, and at the moment, AMR cannot handle Gemmel. The boy is currently on fire, as is everyone else in the second half. But Grizz is on the ball. He's going to use Gemmel on the overlap. He is on side. He's going he's gonna to whip a ball in into his cousin, and that's 3-1. It's the Gemmel show at the moment. So AMR must be thinking we've kept one game all quiet and now the other game all scoring against us. They just can't catch a break. But this player here is the ball now. It's going to get past Adam and it's going to whip the ball down line now to this player here. Can't see the shirt number, but he's going to dribble down line now. It's going get, to get past Weaver. It's going to skip over the challenge of Eric. It's gone to another 18. It's going to have a shot, but that's wide. So the AMR player on the ball. It's going to try and cut it back to number 17. It's missed him completely and it's gone now to Adam. Adam's going to try and hit him on the counter attack now. He's going to look for an option and he's going to whip the ball all the way over the top now towards Gems. That's a great touch there to be fair by number 19. It's going to sort his feet. It's gone to Gems now. It's gone to Eric. Eric's going to try and give it to Jamie, to Gems. And that's a good save there by the keeps. And it has got to that bit of the episode where I'm going to say the usual quote of AMR are not a poor team, but the People's FC are just making them look like a really average team. They're actually a Division 2 team. In, the, in West Far, but the people's are just making them look very, very average with how good we're playing. But uh, Tosin's going to on the ball now. He's going to switch the ball across now to Weaves. Weaves is going to assess his options and he's going to switch the ball back across now to Tosin. Tosin's going to give the ball to Michael and Michael's going to give the ball into Zach. And some things don't, like wrong channel, but good goal there by Zach. So Adam on the ball, he's going to look for a pass and he's going to go back now to Brandon. Brandon's going to assess his options, he's going to go all the way back now to uh, Weaves. Weaves can let it run to Gav and here this is absolute 99 composure, calm as a cucumber. 
sorry, cool as a cucumber, not calm as a cucumber. Great English. Uh, Adam's on the ball now. He's going to he's going to drive with the ball. And he's going to give the ball inside to the middle of the park. All the way through to Jamie. Jamie's through on goal. Can he score to make it five? Yes, he can. It is the Gemmel Show. So that fifth goal then for Jamie is going to be the last action of the game. Shortly the referee is going to blow the whistle. All the best, Amar, for your season coming up. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all next week. Well, one. Solid. Osman, they? They're Aussies. They're Aussies gloves. He's left right gloves. Clean sheet, look. Ryan. Osman, that's how you do it, son. It's a pride in that second half. Well done, every single one of you. As always, bro. Man in a match, don't forget to be tossing. 100%. Quality at the back there. Maybe new position for you.